京ゲームショウ2020オンラインをご覧の皆さんこんばんはここからはセガアトラスの番組をお送りいたしますそれではどうぞセガ
it's really coming to us that you are always a pioneer. You're always standing at the very front line, and you're sometimes too new that everybody has to run to uh, catch you up. Sega is celebrating 60th year anniversary, and I think there's a lot of memory to this. And for us, it's always uh, producing something very new, like Japan first product, the world first product. And sometimes we were 10 years earlier than uh, scheduled, so that people had to run up to catch up, catch up with us. And because of that, uh, I have been on feature three times for a uh, TV program for failure, introducing my failure called Shikujiri Sensei. But anyhow, uh, we were always trying to be at the front line, trying to make people surprised and excited with our product. Oh, the CEO is standing right next to me, and it takes a lot of courage for me to take that Sega goods back with me without the CEO noticing me, says one person. But anyhow, let us consider the history of 60th year, and the CEO himself is going to be introducing the history along with the delivery. Talk about Sega's corporate history. Sega has created numerous services and products. Each every one of them has provided inspirational experiences and good memories to our customers. 60 years ago, in 1960, this jukebox that in front of me marked the start of Sega's history. Back then, rapidly, jukeboxes became very popular in Japan, but there was import restrictions. However, we worked very hard in the development, and we succeeded to uh, sell uh, and release the first ever jukebox in Japan, Sega 1000. The Sega is the abbreviation of the service games. Five years later, Nihongo Rakubusan or Japan Amusement Products changed its training to Sega Enterprise. And we also started the operation of the amusement facility businesses. The following year, we released the world blockbuster arcade game Periscope. And arcade games are still relevant today. And this is the cornerstone of the arcade games. In the 1980s, Sega created the first ever body sensation game. The players can play the games while moving their bodies. They can immerse in the world of the games. This the new entertainment that we provided. Following Hang On, the, first, the second body sensation game was this, Space Harrier. 3D, this is also known as a pioneer of 3D shooting game. On the flip side, after 1980s, we have been putting a great deal of effort into consumer game consoles development. In 1983, we released the Sega 1000, the first uh, consumer console in Sega's history. We have been going ahead of the curves with our advanced technologies and with excellent developers to develop console loved by people in the world. Sega Mark III that adopted the arcade technologies and enhanced the graphical capabilities and the genus is the name for Mega 5, a Mega Drive in North America, a 16 bit game console, the first of its kind. And Game Gear, the first domestic handheld game console with a full color backlit screen. It was also known as the, the battery, ran out very quickly. And then we also released the Sega Saturn, which popularized the real time 3D CG games. Nowadays, online play and the 3D on open world are very uh, popular now, but Dreamcast uh, expanded the horizon of consumer video games. 
These are the games, the consoles that we developed. And I think you can see that how pioneering, how bold they were. And through the development of these consoles, Sonic, Puyo Puyo, Virtual Fighter, Sakura Wars, numerous famous titles have been developed by Sega. And in the 1980s, UFO Catcher caused a great sensation. This is actually also Sega's product. This is an old model. And then this is, this has become a social phenomenon in the 1990s, print club, or called a pelicula in Japanese. In the 2000s, for children, and which was very popular among children, the first arcade game for children, Mush King, the king of Beatles, and the fashionable witches, Love and the Barry started their operations. And now, we have Yakuza Persona Fantasy Star Online 2, Hatsune Miku, Project Diva, Sangoku Shi Kaisen, and other entertainment content centered on IP to be provided by Sega. And we will continue to provide inspirational experience beyond your imagination. Thank you very much, CEO. CEO has been directly talking with us and going through with his explanation. You might have revived your memories. It's just looking at that, you can see that uh, Sega has been leading the history of the industry itself. And I remember that game consoles and game devices, I always were lacking batteries sometimes when during play. When I was small, when I was a children, a child, I spent all my money on the games and comic books. So that was a fabulous history. And commemorating the 60th anniversary, there is a visual that you would like to share with the fans, right? Yes, I would like to share some visuals with you regarding Sega Shiro. Sega Shiro. Uh, this is the son, son of Sega Tasanshiro. So uh, this is a pun word or a rhyme. Sega Shiro means to try to know, understand Sega. Do you know what tapioca is? Oh, the answer is Sega. It's Sega. So what is going to be popular after Loki and Sega? So what is coming next to 5G? Sega. So what is going to be the answer of the calculation? Sega. Again, the answer will be Sega. Who are you? My name is Sega Shiro. Sega Shiro. Sega Shiro. Know about Sega. 60th anniversary of Sega. That's a switch of Sega Shiro. This is the switch. Now, this is the 3D glass of Sega. Now, this is Sega Saturn and Sega. San Shiro, father. Come. I try to ultimately understand Sega. Father. Oh, look at that. Oh, father. Sega, Hatan Shiro. That's Hatan means corrupt or maybe failure of Sega. Oh, father, I'm going to be defending product uh, pro protecting Sega. Sega Hatan Shiro means a failure for Sega. Father, father, Sega is a brand that I'm going to be protecting and defending. 
一応したな。You've grown up. Father, I just wanted to confirm how you have been grown up. But now you have the capability. Father, you can forget about me. I was a symbol of the past Sega, but Sega is not only working on games anymore. It's a comprehensive company handling with a lot of things. From here on, you're going to be the protector of the new Sega. Sega Shiro, you're going to be going beyond me. Father, do it. Father. <laughs> I'm going to be leading Sega to you, Father. So, with a new determination, Sega, 60 years old. So that was great, astonishing, awesome. Oh, that was a fun video, too. So it was just like a film. The movie, like. <laughs> and there were a lot of uh, comments through the SNS. People were crying over this. And Sugata Sanshiro was coming up, and then. You can just feel the ages, the tune of the age, and then the sun comes out, father comes out. <laughs> so I think um, there's a lot of reactions different from by generation. And this is the Sega 60th year, and therefore there's another new program. Yes, we want to test how much Sega fans know about the Sega. We'll conduct the Sega original test in January. That has me decided. And the name is Sega Universe Test. Sega Universe Test? That's well, the National Central Test for University Admissions in Japan will also be held in January. So this is not a coincidence. Yes, to celebrate the 60th anniversary of Sega as a combination for the campaign, we want to put the fans, our fans' knowledge about Sega to the test. So what kind of test is that? Well, now I'm going to introduce the Sega Universe test to you. Well, we will test the knowledge about test. There will be 60 questions. That's a lot. Yeah, because it's 60th anniversary. And on uh, during the week and of uh, the 23rd and 24th of 2021, the test will be conducted for three times. Uh, the test a lot of the time is 16 minutes. It's available in Japanese and English online, and people living outside of Japan can also do the test, and you will know your score. And from high achievers by lottery, special gifts will be given. Oh, what kind of special gifts? I'm very curious about that. Yeah, it's 60, 60. Uh, I re I'm really curious about the presents, the gifts. Yeah, so toward this test, there is some messages, right? Yes, so Sega Shiro himself has sent us a message. Please watch this. I'm also going to take the test. I'm prepared to take the test of Sega Shiro. I'm going to surpass my father. Well, I thought there would be more in that message, in that video. Well, he's wearing something white and the background is also white. What is that? Well, he's a really uh, handsome guy. Anyway, the Sega Universe test will be carried out on January 23rd and the 24th. And please go to the Sega Shilo special website or Sega's official SNS for the details if you want to try. Uh, Make sure you stay, study hard. And next, to celebrate the 60th anniversary of Sega, on December 19th, 2020, we decided to broadcast the Sega 60th anniversary live concert behind the closed doors. Sega Atlas Games have many numerous uh, famous songs from Sakura War series, Chisa Yokoyama, from Krishna series, Lin Shihoko Hirata, 
will sing. And also Sakura series, uh, Sakura War series, the song is written by Kohei Tanaka. And we will have also other gorgeous guests to provide you a powerful band sound. Band sound. Well, I will also want to try the test. We are going to fight. Uh, I really look forward to this concert. Well, actually, the six days anniversary live. As we started this program, we also started the sale of the tickets. So it's already started. And please go to the official website for further information. <laughs> Well, if, if they go to book the ticket, they cannot watch this program. Yes, please go to book the reserve the tickets after watching the program, please. From here on, we're going to be introducing you the Tokyo Game Show 2020 online. Okay, so this year, the Tokyo Game Show is called confidence about its title delivered and we're going to be introducing you the main titles four of them first of all introducing is uh, the pso uh celebrating the 20th year of pso and this is an ultra large update a major update for fantasy star online 2 new genesis it is going to be reborn as a new game exciting, wasn't it? But this PSO2 is very popular. Yes, I always play around with this game. And after this, the PSO2 Genesis version is also going to be shared too. Thank you. And then next, this is an introduction for the showdown for the second largest action puzzle game. This is Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. So you can just not only enjoy Puyo Puyo and Tetris, but then you can enjoy the Puyo Puyo and the Tetris collaboration rule. And the popular title is powering up to become completely new title. Once again, for the showdown. And further new Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. The rule is going to be introduced. Puyo Puyo Showdown and Tetris Showdown is going to be done and Puyo Puyo and Tetris can have a showdown together. And this is called Puyo Teto Mix. So during a certain time, uh, it's going to be sloping into the games. And then within the limited time, 
the Puyo Puyo and Tetris could be played in Big Bang term. And you can have a party. Under various rules, you can have a record score and then you can play on the internet ranking. We have a new rule too this is skill battle. You're going to be utilizing skill to win a lot of scores or else a new way of fighting. This is adventure mode, and in the adventure mode, a new character is going to be introduced. This is internet mode, and maximum four people can play together. So this is the strongest uh, uh, game ever, and you can have a winner. So the new Puyo Puyo Tetris, just try out. And you're going to be experiencing the Powered Up Puyo Puyo Tetris 2, PlayStation 2, Xbox One is going to be sold starting December 10th, and the package, the early bird, can be having a little bit of a different feature, and you're going to be presented serial code as well. That was great, wasn't it? Oh, it's so exciting. And this is a game that females, ladies like too. Yes. I started from the Game Gear ages and enjoyed Puyo Puyo. And these days, uh, people are enjoying Puyo Puyo, uh, such as eSports. Therefore, there's a professional sports athlete playing Puyo Puyo. And I also play the Puyo Puyo game as well. <laughs> Well, the CEO is smiling. <laughs> so the title is Loved by Young and Old. And next, this is going to be a new release on September 30th. This is Sega Craft Egg Colorful Palette delivering the new smartphone game project, Project Sekai Colorful Stage Feed Hatsune Miku. And here it's not just that you can enjoy the rhythm games with the popular uh, songs and well-known songs, but then along with the players nationwide, you can have and hold a virtual live. You can also enjoy stories too with virtual singers. The world is a place to find the real place that you belong to. One day, a song untitled has been delivered to me. And the song Untitled is connecting people and then led me to Hatsune Miku, the virtual world singer. We're going to be charting out for a journey to search the real song for me. And a band group has been created, a band unit. More more chants, more more jumps, sorry. And the girls are going to be forming the idol unit. And then the Vivid Bad Squad. The squad is a straight unit. And this is Wonderland Showtime. And another unit, Hachamecha Show Unit. On 25th hour, at night code, the things are the unit who moves and makes their activities at late in the evening. Together, we're going to be drawing out everybody's true feeling along with the rhythm mode, tap, slide, click. Everybody can start from easy mode to master mode and the level of difficulties will be in five levels. And then you can enjoy the popular songs that you know. And you can have a various types of costumes full of a variation. And with the full voices, stories, narratives are going to be enjoyed in the world. We're going to be finding the full, true world. And let us jump into the emotional world. The rhythm game is going to go into the next world. Along with the nationwide players, you can enjoy virtual lives. So wearing your costume that you love, you can have a great life together. In order or when you have found the real feeling, your rhythm is going to be echoing in the world. Let's sing along, let's sing together. The colorful stage, Hatsune Miku. 
and we're going to be having the application beforehand. That was great, wasn't it? Again, so, so great impression. Exciting. And I like it because it has stories. Right. So I think it's coming up near. And pre-registration, we already have 900,000 people. And then when this uh, reservation reaches 1 million people, we're going to be having something great happening too. It's going to be something gorgeous for you to enjoy. And then there's the legendary series that we would like to introduce as well. And Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4, it's going to be reborn again. The legendary title, the Nocturne HD Remaster. That you are no longer powerful is coming near. You are powerless. Boy, it's a long time I have not seen you. You are no longer human. You're evil. You're demon. But you tried to live on without being ashamed of yourself. Human beings will all disappear. If Tokyo is going to die out, but then after that, I am reborn. Ooh, that brings me the shiver. I was just drawn into that voice and story. So all the titles are something that makes you so exciting you would like to play. And there's other titles coming up too. Yes, Sega Atlas has other uh, titles as well. Like this, one after another. <laughs> <laughs> so all these titles are going to be exhibited. There's so much titles. So do you know any titles? All of them are masterpieces. Oh, and Sakura Wars, I see that. And ReZero, that is already also a very new title too, yes. So exciting, ah, uh, Hokuto no Ken too. And from here on, these are the titles of the partners. Oh, you can see there's so much. Uh, Guilty Gear is there too. Or else this guy is also there. This guy, yeah. There's so much titles going on. And Mr. Satomi. There are also many titles of the partners. Uh, we are really looking forward to that, yes. We have uh, handled a lot of titles of an overseas and released by Sega. And this time, we have added a new partner, a new company, this time, a Swedish company, Paradox Interactive. We have signed a new partnership with them. Wow, that's great. The game will be released as a Sega as a brand in Japan and Asia. Oh, really? This is really exciting. And the first title is going to be announced today. The theme of the title is Empire of Sin. The stage is the Chicago of America in the 1920s, the era of dry law, to aim to rule the underworld. This is a criminal strategy game. And this will be, this is planned to be released in spring 2021. Please stay tuned. Well, that's, I'm really curious about this game. This is very exciting. 
Uh, we have received a lot of comments around our fans. And I really look forward to the uh, updates. The title, where, where can I see this? Well, 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 people are watching this program. So stay with us. And let's look at the portal site. And let me introduce how can you enjoy the our online event. This is now ongoing, Sega Fed Meetup 2020. And uh, following this, we have a good fortune, the Anything Appraisal Team. Kai Un Demo Countdown, Sega Demo Countdown. Well, there are a surprise, there will be surprise from this. And Sega Ruto Q is the next program. Well, I really like those titles, they are very creative and interviews for those who are into SEGA. And uh, the next one is, we don't know if it's true, SEGA legends that went too far. And the next one is SEGA Nandis. <laughs> On Friday, it has already appeared. <laughs> music station, SEGA Atlas Music Station. Can you really use that name? But it's really fun. But you can imagine by looking at those titles, it's very easy to understand. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's very easy to imagine what kind of uh, programs they will be. And uh, the information about those programs can also be accessed. These are the programs, the list of the programs. There are many shopping channels, Sega shopping channel, for example. Uh, you, uh, the, the world's fastest play. Which one do you want to watch? Mega TG, this is a TGS, Mega 10. I assume this title is named by someone in his or her 40s. It's very humorous. That's nice. Well, actually, there is something from me. Sega Nama, Sega, in the Sega Nama, the latest information about Yakuza. I made a mistake. I said there will be a new game. Uh, actually, that was wrong. It's just my wishful thinking. Well, you said that because you really like it. You think you thought so because you really like it. So we totally understand that you made such a mistake. It's okay. Don't worry. It happens a lot. Just a misunderstanding. Yeah, thank you very much. So we have many programs and there are many websites you can enjoy. Can you see the website? Oh, we're in the center. Oh, what's this? This is great. So, see you. If you click on the page, you can try various content, right? Yeah. Well, since we have this opportunity, Yamashita-san, which one do you want to try? I want to try that tent. Can you click that? Yeah, behind the... Well, what, what is this uh, cosplay contest? <laughs> oh, don't squirt too much. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah, the 60 people chosen. These are not CG, these are so well crafted. Haruka-chan Haruka -chan is also there. And the new Sakura, the, this is really high quality. I'm really impressed. This is really high quality. And uh, th there were more than 20 uh, people 
that I like from those uh, 60 uh, people chosen. It's really high quality. Yes, I also voted. Which one did you vote? I really want to know. You know, this is a secret. I don't want people to read between the lines. Well, but really want to know. Okay, there are many other contents that I want to see. Cell. Let's look at cell. What's in there? Yeah, now to celebrate the Sega's 60th anniversary, uh, there are cells. Yeah, so we expect you to enjoy this website, this portal site. I think in the previous uh, festival, we had a Morgana. <laughs> and the atlas but this is going to be very exciting there are many content can, can i also click other icons yes of course kagan blue can i click that can i try well i think when the when the hand icon shows up that means you can click it Cosplay, yeah, that's cosplay. The one next to it. I think there are other things that you can click. There are many things you can try. Well, the way you use the mouse looks like uh, my mom. How my mom would do it. Do you, do you really know how to use a mouse? Oh, original recipe. Look at this. Can you scroll down further? Yeah, I want to see. It's very popular. Let's just have a peek. I want to see the food. Oh, they look delicious. Yeah, rice ball. That's huge. This is fun. It's home base. I wonder how big it is. You can also see the recipes for these meals. So these are the meals that appear in the games, I, I assume. Yeah, that's very fun. But usually in the game show, it, these food, uh, these meals are available at the game show. But I think for this time, they provide uh, we provide the recipe so people can make these meals at home. Uh, what it is? <laughs> your, your way of using the mouse is really clumsy. Are you, did you try to copy and paste? What are we doing? Oh, Shilo. Shilo is here. I see the logo. Oh, it's a AR content. Lucky. PS4 So there are many ways that you can enjoy this portal site. Yeah, please enjoy the portal site. So anyway, actually we are running out of time. So thank you. Uh, we're approaching the end time, but then this broadcasting live is going to be uh, continued until the evening of Sunday. And so lastly, we would like to ask the CEO for the last call from him. Starting today, taking three days, Tokyo Game Show 2020 online is going to be uh, exhibited. And we are going to be airing Sega Atlas TV for 72 hours too, so please enjoy our TV show. Yes, we've got a lot of things going on. And lastly, I have one message for all of you. Well, today, maybe you might thought that there's no new news, but then I do for the fans. So lastly, I have one news. We're going to be setting up a project to commemorate our 60th anniversary. What's coming up? What's coming up?
So we had a great announcement at the last. So there's heaps of comments coming in from the SNS. A lot of people are texting in. So this is a project commemorating the 60th year anniversary of us. Within Japan, we are going to be settling and starting establishing Bircha Fighter eSports, first of all, starting in Japan. This is going to start. Oh, I would like to know more. I thought it's going to be a new new title. What was that? Oh, so I should be explaining. It's going to be taking two more hours. Well, no, unfortunately, you don't have any more time. So we've got to cut the explanation at this point. No, I do want to know more. Why do I not being able to listen to the explanation? Well, I think everybody would like to know more, but then from here on, I would like you to be stay tuned for the new information to come out because we have a lot of pro uh, programs coming down, coming following. But then it made us all so the time. Maybe the CEO will also explain to you in person. Thank you very much, Mr. CEO. And so uh, for the time being, we're going to be saying goodbye. But then after this, the PSO2 New Genesis introduction will follow as a program. And after that, we're also going to be holding Good Fortune appraisal team. And the team is going to be appraising some goods, valuable goods, and give pricing to the goods held by Sega Atras. So again, we would like to be looking forward how much price is going to be priced on the Sega Rare Treasures. You haven't heard of this program yet? No, this is exciting. But because a lot of treasures, a lot of unvalued goods are coming out from Sega Atlas. So please enjoy Sega Atlas TV after this too. But for the time being, thank you very much, Mr. Satomi. So we have to say goodbye at uh, this very uh, point that we would like to listen more. But then again, thank you very much for featuring with us. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for staying with us. This was a program by, by Sega Atlas, starting 21 o'clock. The Gunko Online Entertainment Program is going to start. But please enjoy the uh, Tokyo uh, Game Show 2020 online. <笑>是啊 
有很多这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这
京ゲームショー2020オンラインをご覧の皆さんこんばんはここからはガンホーオンラインエンターテインメントの番組をお送りいたしますそれではどうぞさあ始まりましたガンホー TGS 公式配信番組皆さんこんばんは今田浩二です東野浩二ですよろしくお願いしますお願いしますさあ今さん、はいはい、今回なんと東京ゲームショー2020オンラインにて、うんゲーム会社ガンホーさんのお声掛けによりまして、はい、我々二人がこのガンホーさんの TGS 公式配信番組の進行を務めることになりましたありがとうございますありがとうございますちょっとまだ何も内容がわからないんですけどいやでもどういうことなの公式配信番組っていう本当ゲームショーは知ってますよあの東京ゲームショーってめちゃくちゃでかいやつでしょいろんなゲーム会社からねそうだったらこのこの時期にちょっとおすすめのゲームをどんどんどんどん紹介してさあ一体何をするかそうそうそうっていうところでございますですよね僕最近本当にゲームしだしてるんですよそうあのー、配信なんかね吉本のあれゲーム部みたいなで初めてねそれプレイステー4をもう5がもう出る言うてんのに今まで持ってなかったから買って、ね、でちょっとずつやり始めたら、うん、やるたびにね2時間ぐらいやるたびに昔30年ぐらい前に今田さんに言われた一言、うん、ゲームなんかやってて2時間3時間やった時に「うん、ああ俺何してたんやろ」っていつも後悔すんねんなって言葉がパッてよぎるけど「<笑>うん、わあ違う違う」ちょっと思って「やしり<笑>、はい、時代は変わった変わった」<笑>ゲームは金を生むねや<笑>みんな今やってるして俺もやってんねほんで YouTube で YouTube でやってるでしょ次のゲームにチャレンジしたいねさあそんな我々ですね、はいはい、今回こちらの配信で行う内容を説明させていただきます、うん、題して「キングオブゲーム実況」でございます、うん、この企画は昨今さまざまな芸人が YouTube 今田さんもされてますけども,もやってます、えー、ゲーム実況をご覧の通り、はい、ゲームが得意またはゲームの仕事がしたい芸人さんがねたくさんいるんです今だから本当に今まで触れてなかったまだ、あ、た我々よりもまだ若手でもゲーム触れてなかったけどやっぱり今ゲームやらなあかんっていうことでどんどんこのゲーム番組とか配信で出たい人おるのよ本当だからダイアンの津田がもう本当にツイッターで今から始めますみたいなありますねありますわあいつは変に小銭はあるから道具はすぐ揃える<笑>あそうなんだ,、ね、<笑>だってあの「すゑひろがり」とかはあーあのゲーム配信も,りで、ね、も,ものすごい人気になってるから今そうそうそうやっぱそのあのキャ,ンスがキャラクターがねちょっと面白いっていうところでございますそうそうそうそう、えー、今回その要望を受けまして、はい、今回この東京ゲームショー2020オンラインの公式配信をお借りして、うん、ゲームの仕事が欲しい芸人さんにそれぞれ実況動画を撮影してもらっておりますこのゲーム実況を見て我々とガーホーさんで未来のゲーム実況最強芸人決定していやーちょっとこれからこうね、はい、あのぜひぜひ皆さん見てくださいよというおすすめ芸人ゲーム実況が面白い芸人を見つけようとこれ分かるだか俺自分でやってても何何をみんな見てんのか分かれへんわけよなんか加藤栄光君は本当にそうかそれでもうドンピシャハマって見てる人がおもろいおもろいご自身はそんなに面白いことやってるつもりないけど見てる方からすると面白いっていうのもありますから難しいよねまあ一応いろいろねエントリーしてますから見ていきましょう、はい、今回お題として行うゲームはガーホーさんより無料配信中の忍者ら今回この任天堂スイッチ専用無料配信ゲーム「忍者らの実況動画を8組のゲームの仕事が欲しい芸人が事前に撮影その動画を見て誰が一番うまく実況ができているのか審査委員長今田耕司がジャッジ優勝者はゲーム関連の仕事がもらえるかもしれませんというわけでまず実際に審査委員長が忍者らに挑戦そしてこの番組を最後まで見ていただいた方には素敵なプレゼントがありますのでぜひ最後までご覧くださいさあバトルロイヤルたくさんポイントを稼げイーグルシーエス場所は今さ吉本俺吉本や分かってるやろなうちの今田浩二出てんねんぞおいあっしゃーおい<笑>敵がおらんとこ行きましょう今2位です今2位です大丈夫です今2位ですあ2位問題ないです戦った方がいいんちゃういやいやいやいやいやいや今田さんいやあのね勝負しなくていいんですよえこれでいいんですこれでこれでこれはこれこれこれこれこれこれこれちょっとこれ行きましょうステースステースステースよしよしよっしゃー大変ありましたありましたありましたよっしゃ
10位は吉本君4位でございました面白いね人と実際に人と戦ってるからねこれをいろんな芸人さんがゲーム実況してるのは今から見ようということでそういうことねはいでもやっぱり戦い方もやっぱあるでしょうね試合と一緒で、うん、面白い試合をしないとそう多分人気出えへんだからやっぱプロレスラーみたいなやっぱこうエンターテインメントもありなおかつ買ってもらわないといけないから今から芸人さんがめちゃくちゃうまい人がいる,いるかもわからんしなんかね攻める人がええって俺聞いたことあるねこ戦いもんはあの東寄りのアドバイスと様子見るのが一番わかんないしゲーム中継で,でじーっとして点数稼いで僕は吉本のゲーム実況では常にロッカーに入ってますから<笑>で一番最低<笑>一番あかんやつやでもそれは4人チームでやるゲームだそうかだからうまいやつにやってもらって足引っ張らんようにとかありますけどさあ一組目の挑戦者は榎本かな子です<笑>なんで懐かしいなデタリバーですこのユリアンレトリーバーこのふすまをバッグに常にやってますからいいんじゃないやるのがいいんじゃないとかはいろいろ思うんだけどこのどうやるぜ今しのさんと今田さんの前で帰れとは言わねえって売れたらいいんですよ始まったスタート歌を歌うぐらい簡単なこと音に乗せてこれラップ。このゲームに勝つためのなんかジャマイイナいとは言わねえ。変わってあいつ特集苦渋の決断。もう<笑><笑>
じゃあ明日キングオブコントですはい明日決勝だから明日決勝で,すでもやっぱ自信は本当のことを言うと、えっ、ー、と、靴です。あるどっちか言えよ。おい、来たあのゲーム見せてくれませんか<笑>
<笑>面白いおしゃべりの芸人それはそれでいいかもわからないけど今のやっぱ欲しいのはやっぱベーシックなやつでございます確かにねあの長くやろうと思ったらそうなんか一発もんとしてはいいですけど、ね、まあそうそうなんか続いて四組目の挑戦者はどうも品川庄司の品川です品川庄司品川ずっとゲームやってます、えー、昨日も十時間配信してるんで配信モンスターやっぱそれこそ本当おしゃべりクソ野郎って言われてるだけあって一人でゲームやってしゃべってるの苦じゃないですかいちいち10時間ゲーム配信をしているという品川の腕前を吉本興業を背負っていやもうちゃんとね分かりやすいベーシックな感じでね確かになちゃんと時の愛楽もちゃんと表現するしあっなるほど。であいつも素直にありがとうって言うから、うん、いやいいんだよ全部ゲームが僕と勝利しないで<笑>ええー、コメント進んだ<笑><笑>あゲームなるほど大嫌いなやつも仲良くなるそうゲーム会社も喜ぶようなこと誰も大作戦よしいいよそんな品川の意気込みは勝ったらゲーム配信の番組持てるでしょいや絶対それ取りますで負けてもゲームするし<笑>よしこの場を借りて東野浩二に言いたいことがあるというそうですねあのー、東野さんはそれこそゲーム実況で2週間に1回会うんですよゲーム実況の番組だからって言って、僕のこと呼んでくれてるんですよ。<笑>テレビ全然呼ばねえな。どっぷりかけても、なんか好きでなるもんな。<笑>いや、スタッフ嫌がるんですよ。なんか嫌,嫌がるやん。怖い、睨みつけたり、睨んだり、そうそう。ね、D が、え、D の一番嫌いなタイプやったから。なんですかね、これ。面白いんですかみたいな。うわ、時間ない。うわ、でも今はもうだいぶ変わりましたから。いいですね、ゲームは。楽しい。えー、ゲーム関連の皆さん、キラキラしてる、えー、お仕事、<笑>ね、キラキラお待ちしております、<笑>無理、無理、品川、もういや、今一番いいお仕事で、バリバリゲームやってますよ、最前線で、やってますけど、やってますちょっとあの、中毒感が出てるから、<笑>えちなみに品川さん、朝5時に起きて、はい、朝6時からゲーム配信やってます。<笑>だからね、やりすぎると引かれるしこういうとこやね品川なんか独特の応援したくなくなる空気持ってるあれなんでな、まあ、頑張ってんのにもうすごい夢中なのか子供にはゲーム2時間までって決めてる子供親として、うんうん、で自分は、えー、10時間やってるでなおかつまだまだ10時間以上ゲームできるんで仕事くださいとやりゃええってもんでもないのよねゲーム会社の方もねそうですね、やっぱりゲームやることによっていろんな人が応援したり、うん、あの楽しんでくれないとあのだからゲームの世界では有名ですけど我々一般の方からゲー,ムとゲーム実況の人に言う時の,、うんうん、あの緑の髪の毛とちょっとこの辺のまだらひげは、はいねうん、やっぱり近寄りたくない感じはね,そう,ですねそうですねなんか「外でな」って言いたくなってしまうやんもっと。外で遊びなさいみたいなでちょっとグラビアが品川さんはもうこの段階でも落選ということでございます<笑>さあそれでは次の芸人行きましょう、はい、こちらです続いて5組目はどうも2つでーすこれですもしかしたらいいバランスだバイアンツラ彼がガオ行くぜ忍者らは初挑戦だという津田しかしこのゲームには自信があるという,うこの人来たら本当に理解したいですねえゲーム自信ありますよってゲーム始めてくれるほとんどゲームでもすぐできますよ<笑>喧嘩越しや登録者になるところ5万ちゃいます,す<笑><笑>なんでなんで言わないとはいはい言われるのかな言えへんやもっと
でかいとこで言えばいいのに自身のゲーム配信の影響力は半端ないとガーガーするツだなぜ今回このキングオブゲーム実況にエントリーしたのか東京のレギュラーないですよまだ東京のレギュラーあのあ地上波でねレギュラーないですよ欲しいって欲しいってこのガンホさん関係ないですけどガンホさん提供してくれたら地上波でもできるでしょうとりあえず仕事欲しいですよ、まあ、みんなかまいたちかまいたち言うて千鳥の後釜をダイヤンっていう声もあったんですよ今もかまいたちかまいたちですからあ,あいつらテレ朝でなんかレギュラーでも続いてあれって猫もしゃべしも、うんかまいたちは今日あるかまいたち青いよ最近よバッカリですよ出てんのドッキリグランプリドッキリグランプリですよドッキリグランプリですよなんでそんなそんな顔をするんだよドッキリグランプリばっかり現在騙されて生計を立てているという通だそのためすぐ家にも師匠が俺絶対にやってる仕事もあのまあ暇なとこもありますし、まあ東京来てエビスに行かれましたけど、それも引き払いましたから。エビス、今もうホテル暮らしですね。はい。なんでホテル暮らし？安いホテル。でもこのコロナの影響で家賃払ってられないからですよこれ。家賃？マジですか？十二万二千円ですよ。あんだけエビス。それすら払えないぐらい追い込まれてたんですから。これで、あのまあホテル代金が今安いじゃないですか。今コロナ禍で某ホテル。一泊三千円なんですよ。むちゃくちゃ安いんですよ、今。月の半分ぐらいしかしないです。十分。だから。四万五千円ですよ。そこそこ。膨らまさんでええねん。ゲームの歴史の。今いいですけど、ホテルまた値段上がってくるんですよ。今はコロナ禍で安いけど。普通のまた値段上がってくるからね。そうだから。また。コロナで。普通のおっさんのインタビューや。普通のおっさんのインタビューや。インタビューの素材や。全部カメラを。しかもアホホテル。あとはホテルとかで,ですよ。ボーホテルで自分でるんですよなそんなやつだから MC2 人にメッセージが。あの今田さんいつもほんまにあの飲みに連れてってもらったりとか食事連れてってもらってありがとうございます,います本当に、えー、東野さんですね、えー、東京に来てから一回だけ,回だけ連れてってもらってありがとうございます、うんえー、いつも待ってるんですけどもなかなか連絡いただけないなんかしましたか<笑>いやそんなもう上すぎてそんなに上の方すぎてあの今田さんとか連絡しやすいです東野さんもちょっとなんかなんでお前どっかでランプするなんてやないか。ちょっと自分からちょっと連絡しづらいなって。<笑>いい今,今田さんはあのフレンドリーな方なんで、あのいつでも連絡させていただいて。お前違うよ、お前ナイスの世界が最高やつだないか。あの、今田さんはほんまにフレンドリーっていうか、あのすごく楽しいですし、し楽しませてあのくれます。東野さんなんか、寝踏みされてるのがちょっと。<笑>ちょっと怖いですよ。しゃあない。寝踏みするよ。しゃあない。あ、そうなんだ。うわ、すごい。東野には寝踏みはされているマナナ。忍者ら初挑戦ながら現在1位。どうや、カホさん。私大学さん1位です。すごい。東野さん、今田さん見てくれましたか。これだけ爆速スクです。他のメンバー1位取れましたか。カホさん、カホさんにスクを差し上げます。<笑>やばいちょっと笑けてまうな<笑>いいですねやっぱ俺もう知らなかったよ。エビスのマージュで手払って東京そんなレギュラーがないからひな壇の数もやっぱ第7世代呼ぶし、うん、そうそうそう第7世代かまいたちねポスト千鳥は完全にかまいたちやから、ね、でバラエティ番組っていうのはやっぱり今までは人数使えたけどもまず誰を減らせたらまず全,全番組がダイヤの津田なんです<笑>津田から減らしていくのだしょうがない、えー、だからその渦中にいるんで、えー、しょうがないです津田はまず津田を外すんですもん入ってたらなんかほんまにあの服がもう言うたら肌着にしか見えへんしそうやね腹巻きした肌着のおっさんがだからあそこまで行くやったらもうあそこそこのあのいわば腹巻きまでやってバカもうパパみたいな感じでやっちまああなるほどそれやとなんかこうゲームおじさんみたいなああなるほどみたいなキャラクターでできると思う
曜日もうなんか3週ぐらい回ったアパホテルの不倫の話ニコニコしゃべ,しゃべられても。<笑>あとポイントの話になってから急に笑顔になって笑顔になってポイント貯めるとかねおじさん満を持したおじさんええやんおじさんゲームおじさんの最近のアパ事情古いですよアパ事情めちゃめちゃ古いですよもう二年二三年前のな若いた奥さんはもう次幸せになってるんですから、うん、せいで本来ならねねえいやいいですねまあ一応でもエントリーでございますからやっぱそうですねやっぱ参考にしてくださいさすがのキャラあのキャリアですからはい。続いて、六組目の挑戦者は。どうも、熊田正史です。来ましたよ、最近ちょっと元気ないって。そう。熊田正史、ね。元気ない人。秋がちょっとね。忍者だと言ったら熊田、熊田と言ったら忍者だ。いきます。助けてあげましたよ。ええー、先生。おお、ね、倒し。翼を守れた熊田君。熊田には。どうしても勝ちたい理由がやっぱりもう僕舞台営業というのがもうメインの芸人だったのでこの2年なかなりはい仕事も舞台も営業もお金も全部取ってませんからねそうやねでもね唯一その自粛期間中に娘と一緒にねアベノマスクを作ったんですよあっこれはもう自信持ってあのアベノマスクあれつきましたよレイスっていうのをちょっと聞いたちっちゃすぎるよ。ね、さすがに。眼帯や。スケジュールやっても見えなくて。ちょっとね、僕はね、ドローンにばっかりね、目がいっちゃうんですけれども。ちょっとね、ゲームしてるとに元気ないですよね。敵が多すぎる。今回は自信があるという熊田。ネタの時はやっぱすごい元気やねんけどな。先生は。僕全く付き合いないわけじゃないですか。あら、なんて言ったって、ガンホ先生の社長様。僕プライベートで、はい、ガンホ先生の社長様に、はい、誕生日お,えお祝いの VTR を送った時もありますから、えー、はあっいました。審査員長いまだにメッセージがあるというこの風船を使ったこのネタでございますよし今田先生あなたのためにいきますよはいはいはいはい、ちゃうのいやと思う。オーケー、今田先生、これで終わりじゃない。いくぜ。おわ、あと、おわ、と、つり、いくぞ、いくぞ。ええ。こんな面白いネタや、ね。せ<笑>、そら、これで笑えへん人。せ。もう年取ったなんか<笑>もう耐えてくださいやめてあげて誰もが見ながら感じてたこと言わないでゲームの人でも全然楽しめるというか目をそらしてたんやから、はい、誰でもできるゲームですね先生が吹けたことはいや意外とシンプルなんですよただただ相手を倒す社長と知り合いはちょっとね,っとね,ね大きいじゃないですかううううポイントになるものをね稼ぐこれだけでいいだけですからいや終わりましたねいいんじゃらやっぱり楽しいゲームんでも待ってください本当に楽しいゲームかちょっとチェックしたいと思います<笑>さあどんなゲームかな<笑>、うん、<笑>あら<笑>あらら忍者らは本当に楽しそうなゲームだって言われる先生先生の新しいネタ作りましょうこんなことまで挟んでいる俺どうだい実況使いたいだろう<笑>いやいやいや、熊田先生、お願いします、まだ先生、ちょっと新しいネタを作りましょう、本当に。アレンジしたりとか、いっぱい時間あったのに、まあまあ、アベノマスクはありましたけれども、せめて小道具を新しくするとかね、全部がもう、これ、なんていうんですか、アンティーク感がすごくないですか、そうなんですよ、あの、目ももう、インクが打ちかけて、ね。だからなんかゲーム実況しながらなんか勝手にこの頭髪の毛が変わるとかなんか動きがあるとか、はいはい、なんかそういうのがあれやね,、うん、ねおしゃべりしたくてもなんかいいのかもわかりませんけど、うん、さあ、えー、不足情報でございます、はいはい、最近徐々に栄養の仕事が戻りつつありますソーシャルディスタンスでのネタ披露に全く笑いが起きませんなるほど、えー、森保バンバンビガロと滑り倒しております森保バンバンビガロもこれもう営業では二大巨頭だったんですもう客維持ができなくてうん、ちょっと二人がちょっと様子がおかしいということで、えー、熊田正史君にたっては僕はいろんな芸人さんから現在うつ傾向だと思いますそうやねん何か若干今の画面からも伝わるだけに<笑>なんとかできるだけまあできるだけあの気分が上がるようなゲームを
中継していただいて、頑張れ熊田先生というコーナーでね。<笑>ぜひね、ちょっとエントリーしてますんで、結果の方後ほどでございます。<笑>さあ、それではどんどん参りましょう。続いての芸人はこの方です。続いて、七組目の挑戦者は。あ、どうも。来た。来た。吉本興業の福山正治。大山秀夫です。行こう。大山秀夫。ゲーム関係の皆さん。したことないでしょ。行きますよ。福山がやりますよ。さあ、始めよう。もっとまらない。もっとドキドキ、ずっと君と。感じることさ。はい、それがすべてさ。行きますよ、忍者ら。始まった。ちょうど。へい、へい、いつは。明るくゲームを始めた大山だが自粛期間中に地獄を見たという<笑>ゲーム見ようよちょっと大変な目にあってまして私はほらあの言ったら劇場芸人地獄のそこに一年間の出演回数が毎年ナンバーワンでその私が休みになってしまって大変なことに。今再開はしましたけど再開するまでは一切仕事がなく、ね、これ記録だと思うんですけどね吉本市場の117連休でしたすごい117連休はちょっと頭がおかしくなりますよ本当にでやっと再開したんですけど今月は、えー、16連休がありました<笑>いやそんな大山の連休中の収入は、はい先々月の給料が6000円なんですね6000円もええねんもう先月ぐらいから3万円ぐらい今月が11万円なんですよ3か月で15万3000円なんですよ来年大学行こうとしてる予備校生と。ね、変やな、高校だけど、来年受験、高三の受験で、塾に行きたいと、進学塾に行きたいって言い出してくると、今、中3の子が来年、えっと、野球上手なんですけど、私立の野球の強い高校に行くのが決まってるんです、お金がいるんです、でもみんな心配してますよ、3か月で中学大丈夫ではないな。自粛期間中にあることを始めたそうで何かし暇すぎて何かしようと思った時に僕は料理が割と得意なんで,で妻はちょっと働きに出てたんでコロナの間もだから私が晩ご飯作ろうってことで7月ぐらいが毎日そう変わった料理はできないんですけどその一般の家庭料理ですねそれはもう大体何でも上手に作れますはい、なんと妻に代わって料理を開始<笑>はいじゃあ材料切りましょうかいやだからまずネギね狭すぎるねもうこんなお父さんのこれが生きてるとこなんですよお父さんの段階で料理ですからこんなにもっと出てないですよこんなことないこんな感じ先っぽ当たらないんです先っぽ当たらないんです先っぽ当たらないんですはい、マーボー豆腐出来上がりどうも。<笑>家族は美味しい美味しいと言って食べてくれるそうで。あれ？当たりました。じゲームがジングルや。そうです。食べたまえ。ゲームがジングル。上は予備校生。ね大変。めちゃくちゃ子供。お父さん主さん。確かに。全員食べる。全員食べます。でもまあ一番食べるの僕ですけどね。そうなんですか。まだまだ負けないぞお前たちに。お父さんこんだけ食ってんだから食えよみたいな感じで、えー、お父さん、うん、俺も食いますよね。一番動いてない。一番動いてないですよ。<笑>一番動いてないですよ。引き取るから。わあ、おいなんで。これ、もう、めちゃめちゃ食せた。だけど、営業くれますよね。この忍者ら、このゲーム、実に面白い。
というわけでね何を持ってないよゲーム業界の方々ぜひこうやってねあのゲームのね実況やっていきますんでぜひ私にお仕事くださいお仕事カモンよろしくお願いしますいやあんまりゲームコントランスよとかなんかええ感じやったんでポップな勢いのある俺もだから第七世代ぐらいの人がね、現役バリバリのゲーマーがやんのかなと思ったらいやほんま身内のなんか忘年会の映画みたいな感じで吉本はで吉本は彼らに糸を垂らしたい優しい会社やでここで頑張ればとこんなん大山さんが出るなんて僕と今田さんってよくルミネの劇場で一緒にやってたから、はいうん、サプライズじゃないですかおたまたま昨日あったんですよ。おうおうほんでなんかなんか痛そうにしてるから何かなと思ったら明日のガンホで出ますんでよろしくお願いしますって。いや嘘やで。嘘や。裏で手回す。それや。言うの今って。な。言うとあかんやんって。俺リアクションできへんやんって。あかんやん。あ次こいつくらいな。おおい。やちんかそれは優勝を。<笑>いやいやいや。っていうことや。いや絶対あかんって。出ますんでお願いします。いやいやいや絶対。今までいやいやいやいやいやいやいや。わかりますよね。<笑>なんて言いましたよ優勝者いやいやいやいやいや。麻婆豆腐しか頭残ってへんもん。<笑>こっち麻婆豆腐こうやって聞いてる。俺はキッチンの狭さしか残ってないよ。<笑>絶対優勝させませんので。さあそれでは続いての芸人参りましょう。はい、こちらです。頼むで。続いて八組目の挑戦者は。どうも。どうもありがとうございます。やっぱ花あるな。はい。なぜなっては。ハリウッドザコシショウ。ドキュメンタルのおかげやで本当に。今日急遽すぎて、はい、来られるのが。ええ。ゲームをちょっと用意できてないんですよ。えあ、ほんなら言いますわ。こんなもん、あ、まあ、いいっすわ。でもでも俺がゲームになりますわ。え、まあ、ゲームどういうことになるのゲームになるんだよ。俺がよ。はい。俺がゲームになるから大丈夫ですわ。今ぶらかけたのかな。あ、本当ですか。ほらおぼおらシーズン2が開幕し和風のステージと
スケートボードやサーフボードのような見た目の新武器が追加になりさらにバトルが盛り上がっておりますそしてなんと昨日9月24日よりソニック・ザ・ヘッジホッグとのコラボが好評開催中です人気キャラクターソニックをモチーフにしたコスチュームなどが登場しております、ね、そして明日9月26日土曜日18時よりパズドラチャンピオンズカップ TGS2020 オンラインの決勝トーナメントが開催されますこれやそう賞金総額はなんと500万円パズドラプロゲーマーによる頂上決戦が繰り広げられますので、うん、ぜひご覧くださいそして同じ日にキングオブコントの決勝もあります合わせてお楽しみくださいそうか今日ゲーム実況しました空気階段とウルトラムギーズも出演しますこれは優勝でも優勝すると見てどっちかに反応もええかもああ確かにねいいと思いますいや本当それもいいと思いますなるほどね最後にガンホーさんがカプコンさんと共同開発を行っているアルティメットカードバトルてっぺんが2020年も世界大会を開催します日本時間の10月24日地域予選のオンラインリージョンカップが行われこの大会の上位3名が12月開催のてっぺんワールドチャンピオンシップ2020への出場権を得られますぜひ参加してください詳しい参加方法は公式サイトをチェックしてくださいさあそれでは今朝はい、決めました決めましたいよいよ優勝者発表キングオブゲーム実況の優勝者はうわごめんみんなこれでも若手なんだよまたお前もそっちかウルトラブギースはーい懸命ですいや去年のコントが面白かったのでね今年はもしかしたらなるほど優勝しての元宝さんにつなげるとそうですだから優勝したらウルトラブギースおもろいなそのウルトラブギースがゲーム実況どんなんやろうって言って、うん間口がゲーム実況の間口が広がりますから。ガンさんにも喜んでいただきたい。なるほど。えー、津田くんが多分普通に下打ちしてると思う。<笑>普通に。いや津田くんのゲームパパもちょっと見たかったんけどな。残念でございます。いやでもなんかね、いろんなゲーム実況があって楽しかったし。いや本当ですね。面白いし。えー、あの久しぶりにみんなの僕らの仲いい芸人たちが考えてることが分かったんで。<笑>だから分かってちょっとだけホッとしましたなんかの時とかねあなんかだからあの吉本でやってるゲーム実況は複数でやるから、うんはい、例えば3人は今朝言った3人はこのメンバーやけどあと1人どうしますって言われた時にじゃあちょっとまるまるとかそうかまるまるとかっていうこともありますので大山君とかそういうことそうですそうですそういうのもちょっとありますんでちょっと考えてほしいそうしましょうあ日がそれまでちゃんと呼んだりや大山とか<笑>俺やってるの品川俺ロバートヒロシとかまいたち濱家とか<笑>あーまあかまいたちは欲しいとこやけどせやけどまあ一回東野のこの特番みたいな扱いで、はい、あなるほどなるほど実況で大山さん大山さんとか山田先生山田先生とかザコシショウとかねちょっと読みたいと思います、はい、さあそして番組をご覧のいただいた皆さん、はい、プレゼントでございます今回使用しました忍者のグッズをプレゼントしちゃいます、はいえー、こちらの忍者忍者のあアロハシャツさあこちらでございます L サイズ五名の方忍者のアロハシャツ L サイズ五名の方忍者の T シャツ、はい、W N A L サイズを W N A でいいか。こ,、ねえー、これは三名の方。そして、えー、忍者のフロッキー T シャツ一本、はい、L サイズを三名の方。そして忍者のステッカーもこれ三名の方に差し上げます、はい。あ他にもゲームカードパッケージもあこれね。はい。三名の方に差し上げます。応募方法は動画の説明欄にある応募フォームよりキーワードと、えー必要事項を記入してください、うん、その際に欲しいものを選んでくださいキーワードを我々が決めるする今さんキーワードを一つ決めてくださいはいわかりました頑張れ大山<笑>キーワードは頑張れ大山でございます、はい、締め切りは本日9月25日の23時59分までとなっております、はい、ご応募お待ちしております、うん、というわけでご覧のゲーム関係者の皆様ぜひキングオブゲーム実況に輝いたウルトラブギーズにお仕事をお待ちしておりますはいそして最後まで見てくださった皆さん本日はどうも本当にありがとうございましたそれではまたお会いしましょう,う,う,しょう、はい、さようならガンホーオンラインエンターテインメントの番組をお送りいたしました
、えー、引き続きこの後22時よりカプコンの番組が始まります東京ゲームショー2020オンライン引き続きお楽しみください
Hello, everyone. Welcome to TGS 2020 Online Capcom Special Program. We're about to begin,、uh, and I will be your MC for this portion. So, so sorry.、Uh, I will be Tuke Taguchi. I will be your MC for this portion. During this live stream, we will be welcoming guests from Capcom's development team who are ready to share with us some announcements regarding titles、uh, Resident Evil Village and Monster Hunter Rise.、Uh, wow, look at all the comments! So let's get started with the first title.、Um, we'd like to call tonight's guest to the stage. So over here,、uh, could you introduce yourselves? Hi, my name is Siyoshi Kanda, and I am one of the producers for Resident. So, for everybody watching, thank you for watching、uh, tonight. Next up, shout out to our viewers in Japan and all over the world. That was in English, but his name is Peter Fabiano. Wow! Look at all the comments. Everybody's really excited to kind of see the information that we're going to unveil tonight. So, what should we start with? So today we'll be talking about Resident Evil series,、uh, especially Resident Evil Village.、Uh, so we want to start by talking about Biohazard Village. Here's the latest trailer for those who may have missed it. Greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. It's just a local tale. If it's just looking, window shop away. Wow, that was so scary, right? Looking at the all the comments, it seems like everybody is like, "Wow, that was really cool." So,、uh, thank you. So, including videos, we have a lot more information to show you today. So,、um, we thought we'd start with a summary and some other information.、Uh, 
To start with, this game's story takes place several years after Resident Evil Evil 7. Just like RE7, players assume the role of Ethan Winters, who's now living peacefully with his wife Mia. So uh, that peace that he is living uh, with his wife is shockingly shattered by Crypt Redfield, who left Eden in the previous game. So, so after watching the trailer, I'm sure players are left wondering what Chris's motives could be and how this changes the dynamic between the characters from RE7. Uh, we can't disclose any secrets today, but we'll continue to provide more information in the future. So in terms of the setting as the title implies, this game takes place in a desolate snowy village where all sorts of drama unfolds. So the uh, interesting thing about this game is the village plays a central role, so much so that it can be considered another main character. Uh, and here we get a look at some of the creatures that have taken root in the village. As seen in the trailer, they uh, move fast, they're very violent, and they sometimes hunt in packs. Uh, they'll become even tougher when they're, they're organized and coordinating their offensives. But even in this creature-infested village, there are various residents that the players can expect to encounter along the way. So we, what sort of story is going to be waiting for you uh, with all these interesting characters in Village? So uh, we'll have more details about this as well, but you know, you can look at this, the pictures that we have and kind of come up with your own ideals. So, so everything looks really cool, right? Like, just seeing it brings up all these kind of interesting, uh, makes me imagine all the cool things that are going to be happening in this game. So is there anything else you can show us tonight? So, yeah, we have something uh, that we haven't shown anybody yet. Uh, we have an interview with Pete and with uh, the director Sato and with the art director Takano. So please take a look. Beautiful. So a terrifying. So a very beautiful but scary. For Resident Evil 7, uh, we initially thought of Ethan as a character who would just act as a camera for the player, a uh, sort of blank slate for the cam to project themselves onto. But from a story perspective, we realized it would be better to make Ethan Winters a character onto himself. Uh, and, you know, like, we were really ended up liking who Ethan became, and we wanted to know what happened to him after Resident Evil 7, uh, like what sort of life he would lead. So we started thinking that for the next stage, the protagonist really couldn't be anybody else but Ethan, and we figured this all out at a pretty early stage. We wanted to make sure our village was just as terrifying as Resident Evil 7, um, maybe even scarier. But, you know, something you'll probably notice that's different from that game is that we changed the lighting a lot from what you saw in Resident Evil 7. Um, you probably noticed that if you watched the PV. And, you know, we think we really hit the, a good distance and made a terrifying and beautiful village. And really grew them in scale for Resident Evil Village. Not only did we up the graphics and elements of survival horror, but... We focused on making the world and the atmosphere all around it feel both beautiful yet terrifying. So when we were making Resident Evil 7, we thought, you know, is this still scary? Uh, we decided that in terms of game design, uh, we would go back over everything that we did and uh, I didn't keep this in mind. We'd go back and we'd kind of reverse all the lot. We'd rethink all the logic we used in the previous games, and try to make a really uh, you know terrifying game. So compared to RE7, Village is a bit more catchy, a bit more easy to pull yourself into. That's one of the primary concepts we kept in mind when creating the game. Now, in terms of visual beauty and the weight we gave to it, uh, I really left it all entirely in the capable hands of art director Takano. As Village's director, I tried to think about the feel of the game, like what are the emotional moments, where's the terror, where's the beauty, what's, like, where's the cruelty, where are all these like feelings, and thinking about all that sort of stuff is 
the, my main job, what I consider my main job when I screen this game. Now, when we think of the word village, uh, it evokes a sense of closeness, of like a small, tiny place. Uh, but when you look at what you built village to be, it's sort of a colossal distance. It's got like this colossal distant feel to it. We wanted to give it a sense of like oomph, like a very sense of reality. So we did our best to make the mountains around the village look as fantastic as possible, to really give it a wide open vibe. We wanted players to walk through the world and be like, well, I didn't think of what I could actually go here. And wow, this is so cool and everything. So we thought a lot about how to create a game that you could make your own approach to, where you could figure out your own solutions to problems you face. Uh, this is something we decided to do a lot more with this game. So you have a lot more freedom then in RE7. Uh, we want players to experiment to figure out things that work for them. We want everyone to think of uh, Resident Evil Village as a horror movie that you can play. You want to take your time to fully explore the detailed environments and the fully designed set pieces. The only way that you could make it any more immersive, I guess, is to scan yourself and put yourself in the gate. What did you find, this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey. I only work with professionals. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty and into the forest deep. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. So so we included a storybook in Village because we had a huge variety of things that we included in the game. We realized later that it would be hard to summarize all that and players might get confused and think, you know, what's this all about? That would be, you know, not ideal. So we came up with this one storybook that would sort of summarize everything for people so they could understand the whole picture of the game. get the full experience. All the little touches and ideas that the designers add are fully realized and come together once you make it through the entire game. Village to me is... Uh, this kind of story of Ethan this one guy so probably the entirety of who he is just kind of brought into a single one single game for the Ethan Winters that we created in Resident Evil 7 I wanted to see where his story ended up and I think that's kind of one of the main centerpieces of Resident Evil Village. Wow, that was really cool. Oh man, look at all these really nice comments. Uh, they, some of these comments are like, let Ethan have like a peaceful life, come on. If you watch the video we just showed, you can probably see what sort of survival horror we're trying to make with Resident Evil Village. Uh, we're hard at work on Resident Evil Village, so, uh, and we're doing everything we can to deliver an amazing game, so uh, stay tuned for more information. So we do have one more thing to report. While Resident Evil Village is being developed specifically for next generation consoles and PC, we're looking into delivering the experience on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One as well. We're looking into it, but we can't make any promises. However, we will do our best in creating a top-tier survival horror experience on current generation consoles. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to share some more good information. Wow, that's really exciting, right? Um, so keep tuned for more information on this front.
So that is going to be it for information on Biohazard Village. But I hear we have some more information to share with everybody from something else. Yes, we have the 25th anniversary of the first Resident Evil coming up next year on March 22nd, 2021. So we're here to kick things off for this year. So we've created uh, two mascots for uh, this anniversary, like a cute one and a, like a really cool one. And this one's like super cute, right? Uh, so the one on the right is Raccoon Coon, um, or, you know, Raccoon. He is a uh, the mascot of Raccoon City. Now we have one more thing to show you, and that's this right here. Wow, look at it. That's like all the characters, so many characters I remember from the Resident Evil series. Man, it's been forever since this came out. 25 years is a long time, right? Like, you know, back then I was still a student when it came out, and, you know, like Nike Air Maxes and stuff were out, beepers and whatnot. So, uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each one of you. The reason why we're able to continue the series is because of all of you of our fans. And I hope you enjoyed what we showed you today. And uh, we have plenty more information to share with you soon. So please look forward to it. So that's all the news from the two of us today. <laughs> so everybody is really surprised to see that character in the middle of that big, in that big, uh, large picture they had a second ago. So uh, next year looks to be an excited one. And do you have one final message before you guys go and head off? Uh, so let's start with you, uh, Takano-san. Or so Kanda-san, sorry. So we can only give you a little bit of information about this game right now, but we want you to know that the entire staff is for Resident Evil Village is doing our best to create the best survival horror Resident Evil game for you guys to play. So we'll do our best to keep making it a sort of Resident Evil that is what everybody wants and is the sort of thing that everybody can have a lot of fun with. So please stay tuned for more information. Thanks everyone for watching. We so next up is Pete. So uh, we hope you look forward to more information about Resident Evil Village and the 25th year anniversary of Resident Evil. So uh, that was all the information we have for you about Resident Evil today, but uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Did everybody have fun? I can't believe that uh, Papa, the character, was in the center of that big uh, picture every four It's really surprised to see him there. So next, we have some information for you on Monster Hunter. Uh, so stay tuned. 25 years, wow. Anyway, it looks like our preparations are ready. So now we're going to move on to talk about uh, Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter Stories 2, which were announced just last week. So here to tell you about them are Monster Hunter Rise producer Tsujimoto Ryozo and the director Ichinose Yasunori. So could you introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm the producer Tsujimoto. And I am the director Ichinose. Uh, it looks like they're still warming up. So <laughs> like we just showed up here, sorry. So I could sense the excitement building up the moment you two arrived. Uh, there was all these really interesting and fun comments. People are super excited to see this. So what sort of information do you have for us today? So we showed you a uh, Monster to Rise personal, promotional video the other day. But this is one that actually is slightly different. We have op we've updated the gameplay footage in it. So uh, this is the TGS 2020 edition of it. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Yeah. 
今文が届いたぞ。近々百竜夜行が起こるそうだ。Wow, that was Hukino's comments. That was really fun. Huh? So, as you could see, there was some new gameplay footage in there. Huh? We'll tell you a little bit more about these new elements a little bit later. <laughs> that part in the end was like, wow, this is super Japanese, right? I guess we're going to be able to expect a lot of fun elements like that in the next game. So, Monster Hunter Rise is the latest game in the Monster Hunter series. Could you tell us what it's about? So, our main focus on Monster Hunter Rise is making use of the portability of the Nintendo Switch, uh, which allows you to pick up and play the game at any time. Uh, this game is about being able to play wherever you want, whenever you want, with anyone you want. So, as we also explained during the announcement footage the other day, the rise in the title refers to the freedom of movement the player has, which allows you to jump and climb around the environments uh, as much as you want. We wanted to instill the title with kind of a sense of excitement to, to players across the world while they're exploring the game. Uh, we hope that players really enjoy that sort of stuff. So, uh, Ichinose and I will tell you what kind of game uh, Monster to Rise is going to be and what kind of features it's going to have. So let's start with the most important aspect, the new player actions. This game has all these kind of really exciting uh, movement-based actions that are in the game. So the game allows you to scale cliffs and like kind of elevated platforms and to use the uh, the wire bug to do all sorts of really interesting things like move across, to run across walls and everything. Um, so uh, here's, going to, here's going to be a video showing the wire bug. So this is some more actions that uses the wire bug um, to traverse the environment. This lets you do all sorts of really interesting things like 
scaling steep cliffs and to reach high places, moving very quickly. Um, it also can be combined with your weapon for a variety of spectacular attacks, creating a completely fresh hunting experience. So you can use the wire bug uh, to do actions like wall running to overcome obstacles like they're nothing and to bring a kind of exciting new dynamic to the combat as well. Um, as you can see, there's cool combo attacks you can use to make a much more fun experience. So the wire bug lets you traverse and kind of give you a lot more mobility in the game, right? And so we are really hope that people are exciting to uh, people are excited to see more information about this. So so uh, we are talking a little bit about the uh, there's a new there's a new area in the game as well, sort of a central kind of place that you guys face off. And so after your quest, you'll head back over there. So uh, we're going to talk about in the trailer. We showed off a new locale called the Shrine Ruins. We'll be able to show you some more live gameplay of this area during Capcom TGS Live 2020 on September 2020. If that's tomorrow, uh, we're going to have some actually gameplay footage. We're going to be playing it on the stream for you. So. Uh, definitely put that down on your agenda so you can listen to more. You'll be hear a lot more about that. So definitely make sure to catch the stream on September 26th. Man, there's so much more stuff that you've added to this game. Uh, next, we'd like you to tell us a little bit more about the new uh, buddy, the canine. So you can watch this, see it in this new video. So this is the new type of buddy called the canine. They actively coordinate attacks with the player, and you can even ride on their backs to move around and do all sorts of other. So they're very invaluable allies in combat. So while riding a canine, your hunter's stamina uh, doesn't really decrease. So you're able to run across each area to your heart's content. It gives you a lot more mobility. So while you're riding a canine, canine also, you can use some items and perform some items, like uh, you can recover your health and things like that. So Monster Hunter is a multiplayer game, but in single player, you're able to bring up to two buddies along on your quest, uh, kind of any combination that you want. Uh, so you can like have a like a canine and one other thing as well. So, oh, and it's they can be two of the same type as well. So it can be two canines. It can be a canine and like a palinate or something like that. So, you know, if you like dogs, you can definitely go with the dog version. If you like cats, you can go with the cat version. Oh. So in single player, you can bring two of you. But in multiplayer, each hunter only gets to bring one buddy with them. The one that, you know, really fits you. So I'm really excited to see how these buddies will kind of affect the gameplay. But now, of course, we can't talk about Monster Hunter without mentioning the monsters. Do you have any? Do you have any new monsters in store for us? Can you tell us about them? So, Monster Hunter Rise has uh, lots of new monsters. So, in the show, we showed off a few of them, including uh, the new flagship monster Magnum Malo, which you'll see here. So. So we can't give you all the information about Magnamalo yet. Let me just show you this picture. It's still a long way into the release, so you know. So we'll give you more information as we go. But for right now, we'd like you all to know that it's a fearsome, a fanged with burn, fanged with burn, with a strong air of menace about it. It's really is. 
scary. It's got some very unique modes of movement. So, uh, sorry, you're going to have to wait for more information about that, but we hope everybody will look forward to finding out more about this really cool monster. Uh, next up, we have Aknosam, a kind of very kind of peculiar looking bird bird that looks kind of like a parasol. It's fiercely territorial, however, and once it detects any intruders, it spreads its wings, trying to intimidate its prey by expanding kind of a crest within that has an eyeball-like pattern on it. <laughs> so next up. So this one is called the Great Isuchi. It is a bird river that kind of attacks with its tail, which has evolved into a very unique shape, uh, this sort of scythe-like shape. So the great Izuchi forms packs with um, others like it, with other smaller Izuchi, and it tends to patrol the ter its territory with some elite members of its pack by its side. So once they spot their prey, they'll attack in unison, so you have to kind of stay on your toes and be aware of the entire pack when they're coming to attack you. Next, we have this very unique monster called uh, Tetranodon, who's an amphibious monster that, he's a bit of a hefty chunk. Uh, he's extremely gluttonous and it'll swell anything that moves, including the ground that it's standing on. So once it's done eating, its stomach will swell and it kind of gets slower, but then its attacks also become heavier and more destructive. So we have definitely several new more monsters to talk about. And we also have a lot of monsters from that you know and love from the Monster Hunter series. And uh, they will all be in Monster Dr. Rise, but we can't talk about them just now, so please keep an eye out for more information. So we talked a little bit about the uh, the new base that you start off in Monster Dr. Rise. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? So the base of your new hunting life is called Kamara Village, which is very Japanese looking village, right? Um, it's got all the conveniences you need, like a smithy facilities and other really interesting buildings to explore. There's also a lot of colorful character, characters in this village who will be supporting the hunters uh, as they explore this world. So the trailer also made something called uh, the Rampage. It's really important to the story, so we can't quite reveal anything about that just yet. Uh, but this is a completely new gameplay element that we're working on, so please look forward to more information in the future. So we've talked a lot, a lot uh, and we showed you this new PV as well. But that's about all we can talk about today, though we do have a slightly different trailer that we've made just for this occasion. Uh, oh, sorry, you showed a slightly different trailer just for this occasion, so could you tell us a little bit more about the new scenes you added? So, firstly, we showed off... We showed off some new actions for the lance, the hammer, the light bowgun, and the longsword. And we also showed some cool new actions that use the wire bug. There are also some really interesting new uh, aerial attacks using large barrel bombs. So, um, new. so we also have new uh, actions and new abilities for the palicos and uh, a guarding parasol, I think, for a canine. 
There was even a glimpse of a small monster with a very unique kind of face that you'll run into the shrine ruins. Kind of like a tanuki, a raccoon dog. They also showed kind of like a bug-like monster as well. Um, but we'll tell you more about those at a later date. Well, I mean, it sounds like there's a lot more really cool information to be waiting for, so we'll keep an eye out for it. So, as I mentioned before, we will prepare some live gameplay at uh, Capcom TGS Live 2020 on September 26th at 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So uh, we hope you tune in again tomorrow. I think we have just some of that information on the screen. So now that we know a little bit more about the game itself, can you tell us what we should expect at launch? Well, first off, uh, Monster Hunter Rise's release date will be Friday, March 26th, 2021. Uh, it will be released simultaneously worldwide. We will, of course, have both a physical version and a digital version, so you can pick whichever you like. We also have... We also have a, a version of Monster Hunter Rise called Deluxe Edition that has a bundle of recommended DLC, including the Kamurai Layered Armor Set. For more information about this, please visit our official website. Oh, are there any bonus things that we can accept? A pre-order bonus that we can think of? So, he comes with how cute those guys look at. So, we don't have uh, that many. The supply will be limited. But all versions will include um, a Palamut and a Palaku and some special layered armor. Uh, so your Palamut will get a Retriever costume layered armor and your Palico will get a Forest Cat layered out. And God, look how delish, delightfully cute that is. So we also have three Monster Hunter Rise Amiibos that will be released on the same as the game. Uh, Magnamala, a Palamute, and a Palico. These Amiibo unlock special layered armors in the game, so we hope you check them out. And last but not least, uh, we did mention Monster Hunter Stories 2 the other week as well, so we have some cool crossover content for that as well, so look forward to more information on that at a later date. So pre-orders for the digital version have already gone live. And pre-orders for the physical version started today, uh, September 25th. So uh, please consider pre-ordering. We very much appreciate it. So everything we talked about today will be put up on the official website as well. So please don't forget to check that for more information. Uh, so I think that about finishes everything for today. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise comes out on March 26, 2021. Are there any final words you have for our viewers about this game? So since Monster Hunter Rise was announced the other day, we've received a lot of positive fan feedback, which has you know, made us really happy. Thank you very much. So we are currently working hard on completing this completely new hunting experience. So please look forward to it and to more information about these, our game. So we'll keep bringing you the latest info on Monster Hunter Rise in the future, but we would definitely have a lot more to talk about before March 2021. So we've only revealed a tiny bit of information thus far. So we hope you look forward to finding about all the more information we have coming up. Uh, also, please make sure to follow the official line in Twitter and on Hunter. We will continue to add more information as time goes on. So that's all from Mr. Ichinose. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. So there are probably going to be some viewers who are like, oh man, those buddies are too cute to ride. <laughs> so next, uh, Mr. Shijimoto is going to share some more information on Monster Hunter Stories 2 with us. 
So at the same time as Mantra to Rise, we released some information, we released, uh, we announced Monster Hunter Stories 2. So I have some more information details for you, uh, but please take a look at the trailer. Man, that character design was awesome. That was such an exciting trailer. So the genre of this game is actually an RPG, not an action game. So just like an RPG game, it'll have all the things that you'll expect. Uh, so you'll become a monster hunter. Obviously, you're going to be Monster Hunter, but you're going to forge bonds with monsters, raise them, become a monster rider, and travel to all kinds of places. So, uh, moving on. So, Rathalos have mysteriously disappeared from the world of Monster Hunter uh, Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. Uh, the protagonist, a descendant of the legendary rider Red, meets a Waverian girl who has been entrusted with a mysterious egg. The two set out on an epic tale surrounding the wings of Ruin. Now, of course you'll be able to adventure with many of your favorite monsters from the Monster Hunter series, but you'll also experience a narrative deeply rooted in the bonds between rider and monster worthy of the story's name. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about some of the characters in the game? It's still a little bit too early to talk about most of it, but I think I can tell you a few things. So first, look at the slides. So some people might think this is the protagonist, but this is actually not the protagonist. This is a character named Red, who is a legendary monster rider. So please check a look at a, something, the thing in the palm of his hand. Uh, this is called a kinship stone. And it's used by riders to deepen their bond with monsters. So the bonded monsters are called monsties. So you can ride them, of course, but it's said that there are monsties with other hidden abilities as well. And you can kind of collect and find them as you go. So this is Red's partner, a Rathalos monster. So Red and his wrath are key to the story, and they're some of the first to notice that the world has changed, or is changing. Uh, and the, the protagonist is Red's grandchild. Uh, the protagonist is also a monster under like Red, but they're only a beginner. They may be a rider, but they use similar weapons to hunters and can fight monsters. Uh, 
you'll be able to customize their info, you know, their details, so you can change their name and customize their appearance and do all sorts of interesting things like that. So this hasn't been announced yet, the next thing we're talking about. But but these are all different uh, things that your characters are like. These are all uh, characters that you can design. So I'd also like to tell you about the weapons in the game. Uh, in addition to the great sword, the hammer, and the sword and shield, we plan to add two more weapons from the Monster Hunter series. So now I'd like to introduce you to another character. So this girl is a Wavarian named Anna. Uh, so, in the Monster Hunter universe, there is a race that's different from humans called the Wivarians. Some of their unique traits um, is their exceptionally long lifespans. Uh, so, she is one of those. Uh, so, right now you're probably wondering why uh, has this girl, Enna, been entrusted with an egg by Ratha? But, um, we can't reveal that yet, obviously. Meeting her is the event that kind of sets the... So meeting her is the event that kind of sets the protagonist adventure in motion. And meeting her is sort of the, the key that sort of sets your adventure and sets you in your quest to find the, uh, the Wings of Ruin. So I'm really excited to see what sort of story is waiting for us. So can you tell us a little bit more about this, uh, the game release? So the game release is going to be uh, in summer of 2021. So we're developing it to be a game that not just Monster Hunter fans, but all RPG fans can enjoy. Also, as I said earlier, some aspects of the game tie into Monster Hunter Rise. So. Uh, so yeah, some some things in Monster Hunter Rise will tie into Monster Hunter Rise, uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. So please look forward to more information on that. <laughs> well, look, uh, I, I think that's all the time we have today. Uh, we'll be updating all this information on the official website, so you can check there for more information. So do you have anything to say to the viewers in closing, Mr. Sujimoto? So today we introduced two games, Monster to Rise and Monster Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. So we're putting out updates via the official website, as well as our Twitter, Live, and other official SNS accounts. So please, don't forget to keep an eye on those. Also at Capcom TGS Live 2020 tomorrow, we will also have more information for you as well, including a live, uh, we will be playing the game for you live as well. So thank you. I hope everyone's exciting for Monster to Rise and Monster to Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. I'm Mr. Sujimoto. Thank you for your presentation. So, and that is all of the titles that we're introducing today. But we do have a number of special announcements from Capcom. So a huge sale line of Capcom titles are now up to 86% off. Several Resident Evil titles, including Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 7, and others are currently on sale. For players who haven't played Resident Evil 7 yet, now is the chance to play before Resident Evil 7 Village arrives. Also, Monster Hunter, I believe, Generations Ultimate on Nintendo Switch is now on sale. Uh, how about picking up to play with friends while looking forward to the arrival of Monster Hunter Rise? We also have other really fun old titles as well, such as Okami from our older, uh, from our older past titles. So please keep an eye out for more information about on them. Now, next up, we have some information on the Capcom TGS Live 22 live stream. It starts at 9 p.m. Uh, from 12 p.m. for just two days on September 26th and September 27th. You can tune in for additional info on three titles, the three titles to dis feature today, along with the Devil May Cry Special Edition um, and announcer Street Fighter V Champion Edition. Now, 
Lastly, we have uh, after the stream of the stream today, we have the Street Fighter League Pro JP 2020 tournament first leg, which will be starting on Esports X at 11 p.m. Japan Standard Time today. Uh, topped up with international top players such as the legendary player Umehara and uh, the Todai graduate Tokido, the strongest players will gather to form a dream team. To they're set set on joining the league. Don't miss all of this really awesome stuff. Wow, that was such a really uh, packed broadcast we had today. We hope everybody really enjoyed it, and that brings an end to our program tonight. For everybody watching today, thank you very much. Uh, goodbye, and we hope to see you again tomorrow. ました。引き続きこの後23時よりマウスコンピューターの番組が始まります。東京ゲームショー2020オンライン引き続きお楽しみください。<音楽>